One of the old paradigms of modern society is the path to success, which is you go to elementary school, then intermediate school, high school, and then to college. I know that the rest of the English speaking world re refers to university rather than college, but I'm going to use the word college from now on in this video because it has less syllables, so it is easier to say. Going through college used to actually guarantee you a job so that you could buy food, pay rent and taxes and survive. But things are changing. I am here to tell you that you do not have to go to college. I'll share my own story with you for a little bit. I went to college for 10 years, taking as little credits as possible because I hated it so much. But I did it because I thought I had to. I thought that if I graduated from college, I would be guaranteed a job so that I could make money to live in this money-based civilization. But I was wrong. I'm not saying that everyone should skip college. I think if you're a regular person that fits into the box of society that most people are in, if you feel like you fit in, you have a lot of friends, you're comfortable in crowds, and you don't suffer from anxiety or depression, then college is probably right for you. But if you're a misfit like me, then college might be a colossal waste of time and money. That said, even if you are a misfit and you do decide to go to college, you can't view it just like it's high school on steroids. Colleges are using you, primarily for your money, and also for other things like prestige, and if you're a minority, for making their student body look more diverse so that it looks better on paper. Use every resource that you can siphon out of colleges. For example, internships are things that are only available to college students. After you graduate, you can't get most internships. I didn't know this when I was attending college. I was so sick and tired of studying and going to and from class that I had no energy to do anything else, let alone apply for internships. Don't make the same mistake I did. Do internships because they will give you actual job related experience that you can shove onto your resume to make yourself look better. So what did I study in college? I majored in computer science and I have a bachelor's degree in it. You might think, that's awesome, because computers are really big right now in modern society. But the degree itself really doesn't mean anything. Because what companies are looking for are the specific job related experience in the programming languages and APIs that they use in their companies. Maybe if you were the top of your class at MIT, but you have no experience in anything, Someone might hire you anyway because you're just naturally smart. But that would be 0. nothing percent of the people out there. If you want to be a computer programmer, you definitely don't need a college degree. In fact, that I think a college education might be harmful to you in today's computer science landscape because some colleges are so old, they have old programs and they teach you outdated theories, techniques, and languages that companies don't use today. I didn't go to a top tier college, so nothing I learned was directly applicable to a modern day job. So if I wanted a job, I needed to teach myself new languages. This is one of the reasons why I got depressed after graduating. Because all the hours I toiled away in passing my classes, nothing I, that I learned helped me to get a job after graduating. If you think about other degrees, like say you studied teaching kids childhood education, you could get a job as a kindergarten teacher or a substitute teacher without experience. You didn't have to learn a new method of teaching children, you know what I'm saying? So computer science is definitely not a good degree to get. Most people go to college to be able to get a job. So 
what I saw in colleges, what I saw in professors was the hoity-toity nature of high-level education. They don't teach you how to get a job. They just want to feel like they're smarter than everyone else. So they'll teach you stuff just for the sake of it, not to be able to apply it to real life. Because in reality, we don't want to be educated for the sake of education. We don't want to be smarter or learn things. We go to college, most people go to college to be able to get a job afterwards. That's just the reality of life. We need to make money so that we can buy food and pay rent or property tax to the government. At the same time, I could be completely wrong about college today. Because today I think there are more computer science programs out there that teach skills that are directly usable in the workplace. For me, I graduated almost 10 years ago. I just went to a local university and went through its computer science program. So I didn't go to MIT or anything that was cutting edge. So I didn't do any research into if my college would prepare me for life after college, which it definitely didn't. So don't make, don't make the same mistake I did. Do your research. Don't just look at the numbers. Every college has high post-graduation job numbers. Those numbers don't mean squat. So do research, do more research other than looking at numbers. Because you might see like an 85% job acquisition rate after college, but that really doesn't mean anything. I'm not saying that everyone should not go to college. My point is that you shouldn't bulldoze yourself into going if you don't want to. Life is more open now. There are more ways to make money than just to go to college and get a job. Be creative. Follow your heart. Your intuition. It will lead you in the right direction. Just follow your heart, baby. Well, thank you for joining me on another video. Have a great day.